engineering management is increasingly becoming a very popular course of study uh, especially in universities abroad in this video i make a case for why m engineering or masters in engineering management uh, is an excellent course if you are looking to study abroad especially in countries like the usa or canada uh, i'll discuss the basic program requirements what exactly the program uh, entails um, and some eligibility criteria tuition fee etc just to give you overall perspective about how good this course is My name is Anand Venkatesh and I'm the founder of mentorscapital.com. Uh we are a platform that helps students in their study abroad dream, dreams and we do this by connecting students with mentors across the globe uh who are studying or have studied different disciplines uh and hopefully these discussions will help you make better and more informed decisions. All right, so let's get started in today's session I will be talking about the M engineering Uh, or masters in engineering management program uh, exactly what is the mem or engineering management program well uh, it's first and foremost it's a program that is perfectly suited for engineering degrees right for so students who have completed their engineering undergrad course and are looking to supplement their uh, degree with additional uh, masters degree uh, programs um, so so that's uh, who is eligible to apply uh exactly what does the engineering management program entail well just like the name suggests it's going to be a combination of technical fields of study as well as management uh, disciplines right so it's a it's an integrated program and clearly it's interdisciplinary as well as interdepartmental most universities uh in the us canada and other places where it's popular offer these programs uh you know by, through a combination of subjects or courses taught from the school of engineering and the school of business right so it's a it's a it's a sort of an interdisciplinary interdepartmental program um the goal of the m engineering program is to train you is to further your aspirations for a uh, leadership level role right in a technology focused company or a technology focused organization you could look at established ones like an amazon or google or uh, or a facebook or or even look at you know more core technical roles in in analytics and technology firms uh, even even new startups in the fields of fintech edtech uh, and and more of the like right so so it it has very very uh, huge commercial applications and increasingly will uh, have a lot of uh, you know role to play in growth and and career growth and opportunities in the future right so so that's uh, where this program stands and Uh, obviously because i said it's vast i say it's vast because you know after an engineer has done a program in engineering management you can branch off into either a core you know technical field whether it's technology or analytics you could you could branch away into a managerial domain of consulting um, or even product management right so so it's you can see there are, there are pro- most of these roles are going to be generalistic roles uh where you're going to combine your understanding of technology and engineering and and mix that with management in a particular form in a particular industry or sector right so so that's what you're looking at uh in in the us uh the mem program engineering program is actually a program that commands uh, very very good salaries uh, and and these salaries quite often compete with uh, the mba salaries right so so from the uh outside it does seem like m engineering should be a preferred program and in fact because it's a stem uh, course you will also be eligible if you apply you'll also be eligible for the opt which gives you time to find uh, the suitable job after your degree all right i did say i'll talk about the top 5 programs in the usa in fact uh, most of the top programs most of the top universities in the usa are part of this consortium uh, and and so uh, the programs i'm going to be talking about are part of that consortium i did take a look at the general rankings uh, consider the general rankings of the engineering department of the particular university uh, i you know the kind of uh, you know program structure they have the kind of specializations they offer and also some considerations like the admission requirements and uh, the kind of future prospects as well as the roi in terms of the tuition fee and living expenses that you will entail right so most of this 
is based on that. So strap on and, and let's get into it. The first program I would recommend is the one offered by MIT. Now, MIT is obviously world renowned. Uh, you know, it's one of the Ivy League schools in the US, very, very highly ranked. Uh, and MIT offers a program in system design and management, right? So it's, it's called the SDC. Uh, and this program is offered in both, uh, you know, in class or full time mode as well as distance learning mode, right? In fact, so there's a hybrid sort of structure to it. Uh, but if you're looking to apply from India, you're looking at a full time program, which will typically duration will be about 12 months. Uh, the eligibility for the program is pretty stringent. If you're applying as a bachelor uh, without, uh, you know, straight after your bachelor's degree or uh, after your bachelor's, just a bachelor's in hand, you are expected to have at least five years of experience. On the other hand, a master's applicant, uh, you know, if you've already completed your master's, then maybe three plus years would suffice, right? So about three to five years, heavy work ex uh, requirement. In fact, the reason why they say five years is that you should have, they, they, they do have preference for people who come in with some sort of a leadership experience, whether it be in a team or in a group or within your organization. So some experience of having managed teams, of having uh, planned and disseminated tasks amongst your team members, right? So, so that's uh, that makes it a little hard for you to apply. Uh, the tuition fee, obviously, since it's an Ivy League school, tends to be a little on the higher side. The If you complete it in a year, that roughly about $60,000 or about 45, 50 lakhs is what you're going to spend. And, and the longer the duration, the more time you take, the longer, the higher would be your tuition cost, right? So it's at the top end of the spectrum in terms of costs. Next up, uh, you know, the second school that I want to look at is the Northwestern University, right? Again, a very, very popular popular university in the US. Again, features in the Ivy Leagues. Um, and, and Northwestern offers a Master of Engineering program with many, many tracks. Uh, again, you can study, study the M Engineering program either as a full-time student or as a part-time uh, student. Uh, the eligibility is a little less stringent than MIT, right? So, so about three, three plus years of experience is what they look at. Um, GRE or GMAT is actually optional, uh, but goes without saying that the GPA requirements at you know both of these schools, MIT and Northwestern, is going to be pretty stringent. It's going to be about three, three, three out of four at a bare minimum. I'd probably say maybe three point two to three point three at a bare minimum is what you need to have, right? And a very, very strong sort of technical slash uh, ex technical experience slash background, right? Tuition fee is more or less uh, similar to that at MIT, about sixty to seventy thousand uh, US dollars, which works out about again about forty to fifty lakhs. Uh, you know, that's what I want to spend. The third university and one of my favorite uh, universities to study an M engineering program is the Cornell University, right? Remember, Cornell is where uh, you know Mr. Ratan Tata, uh, one of India's most celebrated industrialists. Uh, went and pursued uh, an engineering program, right? So, so it's it has a legacy. It also offers uh, a Tata Scholar, uh, Tata Cornell scholarships are offered to undergrad students who are looking to study engineering there. But we're talking about the M engineering program at Cornell University again, offered uh, you know on campus, offered full time or uh, in in online mode, and and comes with again a host of you know, specializations that you can choose. I think uh, the one at Cornell is especially popular for their systems engineering program, which means that you come with a, with a engineering degree in computer science or electrical engineering or, or come with at least work experience in that domain, then Cornell University is definitely one of the top ones that you should target. Uh, well, eligibility requirement, uh, you know, is a little less stringent. As you can see, no work X is required. In fact, uh, for, for this year, again, the GRE or GMAT score is actually not mandatory. It is optional, I, though I'd suggest that you do furnish those in case your GPA is not uh, above at the, in the range of 3.5 on 4 to 3.3 uh, 3 or on 4. Um, and, and again, uh, eligibility is a little vast. So either you've done an engineering program or even if you're a science graduate, then you need to have taken... Uh, courses in physics, uh, computer science, information systems, right? And especially have math uh, as a subject, right? So th those are your eligibility requirements. And finally, tuition at Cornell is about 90,000 USD, right? So it's it's right up there, but 
definitely worth it in terms of ROI and probably a little easier to get in as compared to the Ivy League schools. Right. Uh, the next two schools are again popular ones on the engineering list. Purdue University is one of them. Uh, they offer a one to two year program. Again, since they offer a co-op option, it tends to be high on my list of preferred programs to study a, a master in engineering. Uh, the eligibility is fairly straightforward. They, they require you to have completed engineering from a few specific disciplines, no work experience, no mandatory GRE, GMAT requirement, and a total cost of the program, which is well within a uh, manageable domain of about 50,000, 55,000 USD, translates to about 45 lakhs, right? So that's what you're looking at. And finally, uh, the University of Southern California, right? Again, uh, I think if you're looking to, uh, you know, do a master uh, in, in the US and are you looking to find employment, then the California, state of California is going to be one that you should be targeting uh, specifically because the, the job opportunities that, that you get would be very, very uh, good. Uh, the Master of Science in Engineering uh, Management and Technology or MSENT uh, that the USC offers, University of Southern California offers, uh, again comes with plenty of tracks, uh, tracks in management, supply chain, operations, analytics, and uh, and and the core technology track, right? Um, and, and the reason the, the, these many tracks are offered is because there are, you know, a lot of device firms, a lot of manufacturing firms that are scattered across the state of California. So, uh, you know, you could straight away either find a project area that aligns with some of the work that these companies do, uh, from very, from the very small startups to very large corporations. Uh, you need to, uh, you know, you need to have an engineering degree uh, and, and no work experience is mandatory as is, uh, you know, the testing requirement for GRE. Uh, the, the course, again, uh, is priced at around 70,000 USD. Remember, these are all tuition fee, right? So, so factor in some additional living costs. Uh, and, and, and so these are the top five schools. And to give you a broad perspective, uh, try to have a mix of schools. That's what I've tried to do here. The my top five list here includes some Ivy League schools, some really really top ranked schools, some medium ones which are really popular and really come with that kind of a reputation, and then uh, and then some which are maybe not very high in the rankings, but very very good in terms of the opportunities that you'll get uh, later on, right after your degree is completed. I quickly take a couple of minutes to also talk about uh, what we do. Our uh, as the name suggests, Mentors Capital is rooted in mentorship. We believe that it can help you solve uh, and answer many of these questions that you'll come across at the stage of you know, deciding to apply or to make your study abroad dreams a reality. Well, how it works is that you just uh, can visit our website, that's www.mentorscapital.com, and you'll find uh, you know, for every program, every discipline, we have a long list of mentors that you can contact, or maybe we can arrange for uh, you know, a, a session with uh, a mentor who's available who can, who can share his expertise and his admission journey, and and, and hopefully that will make your job a little simpler. Our services are pretty comprehensive. Uh, we we you know we obviously offer essay writing and uh, admission services, application services that include essays, that SOPs, the LORs, and also other assessments. You know, at that stage, uh, but you know we bunch all of it up into a comprehensive. Uh, application support package, which includes, you know, the process of shortlisting, maybe process of prospecting uh, and speaking to some mentors to get a better perspective on rankings and, and future outcomes. And finally, also help you with, uh, you know, scholarship applications, because that's going to be important. If you're applying as an international student, then on a, on a scholarship of around five to ten to fifteen thousand dollars. They may be academic, maybe need based, but we can help you with that. And finally, comes preparation for tests. Now, I know that most of these say GRE, GMAT requirements are not mandatory in the US, but trust me, if your academic score or GPAs are not really, really very high, it would be a good idea to take the GRE or the GMAT and, and post your score when you're applying, right? So we, we do provide test preparation services. Uh, I thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I will follow through uh, this uh, video with another one specifically talking about engineering i give a shout out to ajay who uh, you know commented on one of my previous videos asking for uh, you know a little bit of guidance on engineering management specific to canada so that's going to come up very soon ajay uh, if you have any questions you can also write in to me at the email id shown on your screen you can 
you can contact uh, me on whatsapp you can contact us uh, by also visiting our website or in fact if you go visit the link then you can directly register for a free counseling session for a free demo class uh, as maybe your need uh, thank you and you guys have a great day